It's just not easy being a house, you not going anywhere. The government says Mohamed Suma is a fugitive. He overstayed a visa. The U.S. government wants to deport him. But Mohamed says if he goes back to his native country, Guinea, Conakry, he will die. That's because they lack the ability to properly treat his kidney disease. I don't want to die. In October 2018, he faced the threat of arrest and deportation by immigration police. A coalition of churches offered him sanctuary in a Quaker meeting house. Immigration police usually won't enter a house of worship. Time I'm spending here is saving me. I know I'm kind of saving here. I'm protecting here by uh, wonderful people. We felt the need to mobilize ourselves to be able to offer safe haven. This is something I do very good. Volunteers stay with Mohammed to guard against any police raid. The door minding shifts are four hours at a time, 24 hours a day. Okay. There's always the possibility that ICE, Immigration Customs Enforcement, will come to take Mohammed into custody. If ICE comes to the door, I would first of all not let them in unless they have a signed warrant and signed by a judge with the correct date and the correct person uh, that they are looking for. Otherwise, I turn them away. Mohammed is separated from his wife. I got two children, 11 and 10. Since I've been here, I see them like uh, three times. Mohammed has end-stage kidney disease. He has polycystic kidney disease. He's a very sick man. What is scaring me too much? This disease killed my, my mom. He requires dialysis three times a week. He only leaves the building for his treatment. There is always risk if he leaves the building. How are you doing today? Okay. We have a group of dedicated clergy volunteers that accompany him to and from dialysis. I never experienced what people can do this for another people, human being. God will bless them. Caring for one another is to be human. Mm -hmm. 